Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Games from Scratch and today we are looking at an interesting beta project for the Unreal game engine called Unreal Bucket. Now this one is, it's got a very straightforward name, it's a bucket of stuff for Unreal Engine. You can essentially look at it as kind of like an integrated warehouse or asset store for game ready Unreal Engine resources. So what you can see up here, it is up here in my toolbar, you can see Unreal Bucket right there. To install this one you basically take the zip file once you get into the beta, uh, copy it into your plugins folder, you will find it here in plugins under predictably enough search for the word bucket and strangely it is the only bucket named uh, asset available turn that plugin on and this guy will show up right here you want to grab it go ahead and click that and here you see all of the assets currently part of unreal bucket now there's a lot of question marks coming from this what are things going to cost how many assets are going to end up on the store will third parties be able to outsell their own assets on this store and the answer to all of these questions is i don't know but what you can see is what we've got so far so we got categories of assets, things like Archviz, Electronics, Industrial, and so on. Currently, we have just under 150 assets. Again, this is in beta, so it'll be interesting to see where they launch. But what makes this particularly useful is that these assets are actually all... Um, game ready, Unreal Engine ready. And some of these, it goes a little bit a step further. So I'm going to go over here to my purchased categories. You purchase things using points. The value of points are if you get an X amount a month or how it all works out. Again, I don't know. The devil is going to be in those details. But you can see here, here is a barbecue asset. I've already air quotes, purchased as part of the beta, and I click here and download it. I've already done some, but you'll notice it's got the key tag over here of Blueprint, and this is what kind of makes it interesting. So you see here, all of the stuff I have downloaded shows up in my Unreal Bucket content integration. So I come down here, anything you want to bring, you basically click the download button, it will download it and make it available over here, and we'll go to the library, and this one that is under the category of various, and barbecue grill. For this particular example, that asset is actually implemented as a blueprint, also as a number of materials and, and so on and so forth. But you see here, we got a number of different things that go together to make up your typical barbecue, and the blueprint is controlling those things. So I'm gonna go back here to the barbecue grill. I will drop this blueprint into my scene, and you will see, as I get closer, we have things like a lighting model going on here behind the scenes. It's all pre-configured for us. So if I go over here, we can edit the blueprint on this one. Let's go like there. And you're going to see there, this particular asset ships with a blueprint controlling everything. So it's setting up the charcoal material and all the various different uh, bits and products and such that are being shown on the grill. It, it's got, you know, so you've got multiple different configurations. We've got other settings here. Again, they are... Um, uh, Unreal Engine ready assets. So let's go back up here to the various category and look at the example of an umbrella I downloaded. We've got a closed and open umbrella in that particular case, but you'll also notice here there's a number of different materials for each. So I can grab this guy right here and I can drop in a red umbrella or a blue umbrella. But since these are um, Unreal materials, I could also open one up. And if I instead wanted blue, I wanted purple, I could make that a purple umbrella. Easy enough. I suppose I should have probably cloned the material because that doesn't make a lot of sense calling it blue when it's now purple. But that, as you can see, it, since things are set up out of the box to work with Unreal Engine, you do have a bit more to customization from blueprints to just straight up material manipulation. And then some of this stuff is just models like you would see anywhere else. So for example, if you needed a handgun, handguns, handguns, lots of guns, and clips. There you go. Straightforward, just their Unreal ready models in there uh, ready to go. Uh, and then again, we got a couple other examples. So for example, I come back here, uh, library, various, and then we've got a leather armchair. Let's drop that one in so we can invite Morpheus to the party. There we go. I gotta admit, Morpheus has a very weird lopsided butt going on. But there you see, it's simple enough to bring these things in. They are ready to go with Unreal Engine. And again, anything you wanna access is available right here. You can navigate through. So something you want to pick up and grab, uh, you're going to notice anything tagged is free, so if I wanted to get a fire extinguisher, I could go here and grab it. Or what I do if I pick something up, so if I say needed a sledgehammer, I double click that one and you'll see the, the point cost. Again, what that point cost actually turns into in reality, I don't know, but you can see this one is one point in this case. If I want to go ahead and grab that, I say, yep, I want this guy. I click the download link right there and zoom, it goes ahead and downloads it. And hopefully it doesn't give me any kind of errors because I am doing a presentation. There we go. So we're ready to go. It's going to import that guy in. Bum, 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 bum. And we now have a sledgehammer ready to use in our world. And, and in watching that, doesn't it make you go, hey, wait a minute. 
why why don't we have this? Why why can't I get anything I've purchased off the Unreal Marketplace or the Unity Marketplace using this setup? This is such a nice way to do it. I know um, Sketchfab has this kind of support built in as well, and I guess that's probably who they are mostly directly competing with, but the thing Unreal Bucket has going for them is that this is directly targeted at Unreal Engine specifically, so things are more um, configured, ready to go. You will find, for example, if you open up the static mesh uh, behind this guy, there are three levels of detail assigned to it that you can switch between. So it's just, I think it was about 12,000 to 2,000 polygon range in that particular case. So that is essentially Unreal Bucket. It's a beta of a store coming soon. You're going to notice some of these things. For example, if I go to this C96 uh, broom handle Mauser here, uh, this one is linked as being from a partner. So it does look like there is a good chance that we will see, um, you know, a third party selling on there. So if you create stuff and you're looking to add to another marketplace, potentially, it'll be interesting to see if this is going to turn into another avenue for you. So the thing that kind of makes or breaks a project like this realistically comes down to how many assets they end up having, you know, so how big this catalog can get over time. Uh, if they can keep the quality up of the assets and what the pricing structure is. Because you need to have enough community to install it, so they're going to have to keep pumping out some free stuff for people. Uh, you know, enough free stuff to make it justifiable to install a plugin into Unreal Engine. Uh, but there is a convenient aspect of it, you know. So unlike when I'm working with a marketplace asset, I have to install the entire pack over. But that's their other competition here too. And this is kind of one of those challenges I see with working with Unreal Engine in general, is Epic Games gives away so so much stuff going to be hard to compete with that so if you want to learn a little bit more about uh the unreal bucket uh you can learn it at their website available at predictably enough unrealbucket.com now a lot of these things again it's early it's a beta right now things are going to be fleshed out of course so there is a try beta here you give them your email address hopefully they get back to you pretty quickly uh, again, you can kind of look at the the assets that we saw in action here. Again, there's about a hundred. Uh, there's 146, I think it was right now. The big the big selling points are the integration into Unreal Engine. It is nice you can add the things in just one click. The installation is, as they say, pretty simple, straightforward. Basically, just copy the plugin into your project, enable it, and you're good to go. Um, and then. They've got a number of different categories here. You can, you know, customize assets like what we saw with the uh, uh, blue umbrella that we turned purple. And we also have things like some of them come out of the box with predefined blueprints. Uh, and we're going to have standardized quality cross sports, so optimized geometry, uh, balance between quality and trial count, naming conventions, common textile density, LODs, PBR calibrated, and convenient pivot points. So the things you're going to get out of here, again, you're going to have LODs and optimized geometry. So this is aimed at game developers, where if you look at some of these things like uh, Sketchfab, some of the models might be absolutely gigantic, for example, same with like a Turbo Squid or whatever, that they are going to be competing with. This one is very specifically aimed at uh, game engines, obviously, because it's very specifically for Unreal Engine. Uh, and then you've got things like the pivot points are set right, PBR is properly calibrated, um, and so on. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and hit their Try Beta link. I will link to them in the linked article down below if you want to check it out. And at this point in time, the question mark you should definitely be asking at this point in time is, okay, well, what's the license? And the license I found here. So the details, um, it, it, there's legalese. I imagine this isn't a finale or a final form. This is not Frieza. But what we can see here is products are available with the right to use for commercial and private purposes in the area of whole world of the whole world. Um, so you can't use these in space, unfortunately. Uh, it's further resell sharing, whether for remuneration or not, sublicensing or multi. Okay, I'm a little confused by that statement. Uh, we give you a personal worldwide non-assignable and non-exclusive license to use this product as part of a service as provided to you by Unreal Bucket. So it's pretty straightforward. You can't resell this as an asset as it's pretty much the norm of these kind of things. And the license becomes effective after the acceptance of terms, receiving a payment and downloading the product from the platform. I don't know what that specifically means as uh, I didn't pay anything. It's in beta. There's no real price attached and some assets you're getting for free so you never actually give them a payment so that needs to be uh those that wording needs to get narrowed up a little bit but basically uh it seems to be kind of like a standard like what you see for most uh 
say, humble assets or such that are released. You can use it in your own project. You can't use it as an asset. So you can't you know, put it up on a market store or, or redistribute it as just an asset. It needs to go into a game project. But again, I am not a lawyer, and I also assume that that uh, license term is not in its final form yet. Uh, but there is a lot of potential here. It's got, uh, it's an interesting idea. Be interesting to see how big they can get that marketplace if they do allow other people on it. But the key thing here is if they allow other people on it, they are going to have to conform to all of those standards they talked about down here. And that's going to be the key. The key is going to be quality gatekeeping. If they do keep it so that everybody that publishes up to here has all of these things predefined, they've got multiple LODs, the geometry is optimized for game forms, things are out of the box, ready to run on the Unreal engine you've got nice blueprint integration where it makes sense you've got predefined uh, unreal engine materials ready to go they can have a leg up on the traditional you know uh sketch fab kind of competition and again i honestly i can't fathom in seeing this why something like this doesn't exist in unreal engine or unity for buying or picking up assets that you've already owned it just it seems like a no-brainer to me so hopefully this is something we see more of i remember there was something like this for unreal engine or for unity that i covered in the past but nothing official from either company so um it's it's a definitely an interesting approach they're going to live and die from how they grow their community but the out of the box experience it's pretty good. So if you want to check it out, I will have links to their sign-up beta in the article linked down below. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.